Hi, this is Ryan with Ryan Industrial, and this is my video on my inexpensive pallet fence. My fence is 35 feet long. I did have to buy um, some new material, but 90% uh, of it is recycled or reclaimed pallets. Total cost was uh, $31.45. Now, how I got this going is I just picked up a bunch of pallets. I ended up using about 12 pallets. Um, I did find some extra long ones for larger uh, shippers and uh, saved a little bit of time on finding more, but uh, depending on your length, you just have to make some measurements. Uh, how I did this, I tore the pallets apart. This was uh, this ended up being my favorite or best working tool. It's just a nail nail removing pry, pry bar, I believe it's called. I had it. I got it from my dad, but um, you can get them anywhere. Home Depot, Lowe's, and it's just made for removing nails. Obviously, just a regular carpentry hammer. I ended up uh, being pretty selective on which pallets I got. Uh, some come with thinner pickets and then wider ones. Uh, this depends on what you want uh, for your fence. I thought about even doing a, a, a four inch and then a, a three inch and a four inch and sort of checkerboarding it, but uh, I ended up fortunately finding enough pallets to do the whole gate out of the same width. Um, some of the pallets had larger uh, nails, or like, like to say in this one they ended up putting four. Um, I ended up cracking the heck out of these things, so I tried to just stick to finding ones with either two or on the larger pieces here with just three and uh, used that uh, tool, got under here and just lightly tap it and it'll eventually work those out enough where you can get to the heads. Some of them you, they use real tiny, I don't know what size nails these are, but they're the screw type and that tool there if you would use enough force it would actually just break them. But uh, once uh, I took all the pallets apart I was able to use the sides. I found some pallets without fork pockets and I was able to double up the 2x4s to make my posts. Now my fence is only, uh, the posts are only 30 inches tall and then the uh, gate itself, the entry gate, is about 36. So I didn't have to go super high. So I was able to get two posts out of one um, you know, made up 4x4 four four here. But the uh, only thing I can recommend if you find a bunch of good pallets with the good pickets, um, but yet your sides have pockets, just reverse them, you know, back on each other so the pockets aren't on the same side. That should probably strengthen it. You can use nails or uh, screws. I'd recommend screws just so they last longer. And um, now I got a bunch of great firewood for when I go camping. But uh, let's walk over to the fence. The fence is like 37 feet long, something like that. I still not finished. I have to finish this corner piece here by the jacuzzi. And I haven't been able to find any uh, good pallets in the past couple days. So that'll be uh, one other weekend project. And then I'm going to make a gate right there where the hibiscus is. So I can enter there as well as the main gate. I made my main gate uh, four feet wide. So then that way I can get a tiller through there, my wheelbarrow all that stuff and then the smaller gate over here will just be for entry only just for a person um, I made my gate unfortunately because my dog ate my chickens so uh, fortunately they didn't die but uh, I had to do something because uh, my garden uh, and the main part of the yard it looks terrible right now I needed separated just due to that fact but I think it also looks nice um, like I said, I did have to purchase new material. What I had to purchase was the uh, the supports across for the pickets, uh, two dollars and twelve cents each. They're two by four by eight, so I just used that um, that measurement to space my posts. I actually came in just a little bit so that that way I wasn't worried about making a wrong calculation and being too wide. So I think I went like seven feet eight inches or nine inches or something like that. I've got a total of five pickets, or excuse me, five posts. Um, 
the posts are 30 inches tall and then 36 inches at the gate there because I wanted the gate uh, a little more strength um, so I went taller on that. I also dug down a foot and a half and cemented those posts and then the smaller posts that just hold the uh, side braces I went down a foot. I said something online about um, you want 20 percent or a quarter of the length in the ground so if you need a, a much taller fence if you need a six footer then you need to go down about two feet um, so take that into consideration on when you get your pallets and stuff uh, mine's more decorative as well as you know just to keep the two areas separate some of the pickets the ones up here these are pine um, the center one there I found a good pallet and used um, used that one it's a hardwood pallet made for outdoors as well as at the very end there so those are I don't know maple or oak or something but uh, one thing I can recommend on all the pallet pickets that I ended up making or getting um, to drill pilot holes and use screws I set my electric drill to a torque setting I did find if you didn't drive uh, the pilot hole through they would have a tendency to crack pallets are usually made out of crappy material or seconds or whatever so on this circumstance it works perfect there's no the, the strength is there and the height I went uh, five inches between each picket um, which actually ended up looking very nice and decorative I came up with that number because it's large enough of a gap for the chickens to walk through but yet small enough for my golden retriever to not uh, get through and eat my chickens, right? <laughs> so let's. Uh, I got the uh, gate kit at Lowe's. It was like 12 bucks. Um, it's just a basic kit. It's a little decorative, but it just has the regular whatever handle. And. Um, what I did is also, as I put the the good side of the pickets facing out, so then that way when you come out of the house, you see the good side. But you can see that they are used pallets from the inside, but uh, I didn't really care. This is mainly just to keep my area segregated. And uh, it ended up working out really well. I took uh, the posts here, I just used regular cement. Uh, most people recommended the quick drying cement. And then they recommended um, pouring the dry cement in the hole and then filling it with water and just letting it stay. I ended up using the 60 pound bags of the, I think it was 3500 PSI concrete. I used the same theory, but what I ended up doing was using just a, a fork that I got. Like a, I guess people call it a potato, a spud fork or something like that, just that I used to till the ground. I poured it in there, added the water, and then mixed it with that just to make sure I got it all mixed together. And they're super strong. I haven't had, I thought maybe a lean or something like that, but it, it works out great, especially for my circumstance. And like I said, at your gate, you want to go down further, or dig down further to just allow a little more strength because the gate's going to be shutting and opening all the time. But see, I mean, it... It doesn't do anything. So, on the other posts, I just want a foot, like I said. And then I want a foot and a half. You could go down two feet or whatever. But I wouldn't recommend um, going down only a foot or so. I would recommend definitely going twice the length or at least a foot and a half. So that way you have the extra strength. So it ended up working out really good. And like I said, it's all reclaimed. And... Uh, it costs thirty-two dollars to make a thirty-seven foot fence. I still need to uh, finish up that corner there, but I have uh, a little cement left over, so maybe I'll have to buy one more bag, and uh, that'll be it. So maybe an extra five dollars and won't be done. And I have some hinges and a latch that I have left over that I'm just going to use instead of buying another gate kit. But uh, that's it. Uh, you don't have. To necessarily just butt the pallets up like I've seen on YouTube so many times. Most people are holding in livestock and stuff. I'm just trying to keep my my golden retriever out of the 
garden for meeting the chickens and stuff but it also looks really decorative and nice eventually uh, when I find some more good pallets I'm gonna make a little bit of an archway over the, the gate there and uh, that's about it so if you have any questions or comments you can post it to my page and I'll be more than welcome to answer any questions and helping you with your project thanks for watching